quad bikes. Projectiles made from poop, <laughs> risen donkeys, and great views on this episode of Things That South Africans Do. So, to celebrate Spring Day, some mates and myself decided to take some quad bikes out into the Karua. On a guest farm at Yeseljagspoort, we made our way into the bush in search of adventure and a baby zebra. We found some bontebok and also the animal which gave road crossings its name. When we got closer, we got to see the baby. Spotted some gemsbok and Fiskel lost his flycatcher again. We also found Papa Spurka, better known as the African Stick Mantis. We possibly also discovered a new species of ostrich. <laughs> Daniel then demonstrated a traditional South African sport, Bokdrolspoog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kirsty gave it a go <laughs> and then filmed the boys' competition. First up, Douglas. Great open, but Daniel <laughs> beat him by a hair. Dan got some air, but I was in a league of my own. Also, don't do this. I was getting better, but that didn't matter. With me out of the competition, it was up to Dan. He had some great shots, but earned second place. Second from last, that is. This was now between Douglas and Daniel. After some great spoocher, Daniel got the W with this. Oh my word. There was only one thing left to do. Measure the drawl. Seventeen and a half. But your foot is also not the feet. Congratulations. We then got on our way to see some scenery and also to do something that they call walking. Apparently this is something that people do. Dan showed us his mysterious holes and we speculated over what could have caused it. Maybe the Buddha used them for foxholes during the war. Maybe it's where the Kruger millions are buried. Though it's probably where they got the stone to build the houses that once stood here. One wall still remains.
although the views were spectacular. The sun was pulling water and we had to head back. At this point I realized that I should probably stop filming because I had fallen way behind again. A big thank you to Karua Breath for having us. If you ever feel like a great breakaway where you want to go hiking and quad biking, definitely go check out their website. Also, shout out to my Chanas for making it a memorable spring day. Let's make a mission soon. Until then, take it easy, but take it. And if it's easy, take it twice.